Grand Rising, welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Aquarius, we're doing your love reading for the second week of August. Aquarius, I have my Venus and Aquarius, so I'm right here with you guys. I know I'm here for this reading. We're going to get an overall energy for you guys to see where your love life is expanding to. <sighs> Let's get it started. All right. Overall energy for love for Aquarius at this time. Spirit, second week of August. Ooh, we got beloved. Beloved, actually. Radical acceptance. Ooh. There could be something harsh that you're having to accept at this time. Or we're talking about the heart space here because, yeah, there's a heart on this card. Somebody is accepting their feelings or accepting somebody else's feelings. It's like, I don't have a choice. I have to accept these feelings, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whether they're unfounded or unrequited, you're accepting what is. It is what it is. Okay. And then we have straddling worlds, wandering between realms. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm having, I see, I'm seeing like somebody's having an issue coming to terms with some, a decision that somebody else could have possibly made here. And it's like, you're trying to find the answers, but you're at the point right now, Aquarius, where you're just accepting it. Like that is, it's just what it is. I can't change it. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to fight it. It is what it is. All right. What else? Help tie this reading together, Spirit. What else do we need to know here? Like life goes on. We have like breath, life. Oh my God. Am I fucking psychic? Like, I don't even know anymore. Like, <laughs> honestly, for this card to come out after I just got through saying eh, life goes on. Life, breath. This person could have meant a lot to you, Aquarius. I mean, you were the air that they breathe. You breathe them in, they breathe you out, you breathe them in, whatever, however the fuck it go. <clears throat> we got storms here at the bottom. So yeah, this could be a rocky time. I, I was feeling that. I was feeling that. Ooh, let's put a little kip on here and make it razzle dazzle. See what else is going on here. There, why is Why are you having to accept that this can't be or that it's unrequited or whatever is happening here you're having to accept it <clears throat> somebody could be lost at this time not really knowing what they want somebody could be on the fence and you're just like you know what i'm gonna just let them decide what they want because i'm not gonna force it i'm definitely getting somebody could be doing a lot of crying here I'm hearing that song. Why am I crying every night over you? You're never gonna leave her. Finally, I woke up and smelled the coffee. I understand why two women can't share one man. I can't be the other woman. I can't love you down. Okay, look, I can't keep singing. My voice already fucked up enough. And I don't want y'all ears to be bleeding. <laughs> we got wealthy man here. Oh boy. And distant horizon. So dang, uh, Aquarius, if you could be becoming a wealthy man in the near future here, or you could be meeting a wealthy man in the near future here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That might make getting through this a little easier. <laughs> Just like it. Or this could be who you're radically accepting is not choosing you. And this person doesn't have to be wealthy, but they could be, it could be coming out as wealthy man because they have a lot to offer you in terms of love, emotional support, connection, whatever this it could be just denoting that this is somebody that you really truly value let's say that wealth is about value all right let's pull this spread for you guys aquarius Woo! we got 
got the Ace of Swords coming through. So you already know the truth. You know in your heart here what you have to accept and what needs to be done. We got the Queen of Wands. You could be out here uh, Aquarius looking super soaker sexy. But the Queen of Wands is also the Witch of the Tarot. But she's also the Mistress of the Tarot. She's someone who's very beautiful, very attractive, very alluring, very about her business. She's assertive. Yeah. She has all the quali all the qualities a man could want or some shit like that. I don't know how that song goes, but y'all know the fuck Brick House, I guess. I don't fucking know if that's the right even lyrics go to that song, but whatever. She has all the fine things a man could want is basically what <laughs> is coming through with this Queen of Wands. Okay, we have the Strength card with the Five of Swords. Somebody's definitely trying to force something for selfish purposes. Someone could be purposely trying to cause hurt or pain here. We got the Eight of Cups coming out. You're walking the fuck away or somebody walked away from you. And we have death. Yeah, there's there was an ending here. Six of Wands. Somebody doesn't recognize something and something is unsuccessful. Hold on, you guys. Okay, I just had to put my hair up because it's hot. And yeah, it's getting on my nerves. Probably already 100 degrees outside. Okay. And this chair is getting on my nerves too. Okay, Lord. Like, I don't feel comfortable for some reason. Like, something's nagging at me. Like, my thighs rubbing together right now is nagging at me. My armpits rubbing together right now is <laughs> nagging on me. Like, what the fuck? Ooh, so, yeah, something ended. Somebody walked away, Aquarius. I feel like you're having to have the strength to push through. Even though it's hurting you, you're not going to let... It's like you're not going to let somebody see you sweat. This is what I'm getting. You holding your head up high. You moving forward like, hey, got me feeling like the man when I walk through. <laughs> and the truth, there's some type of truth here that you're realizing. We're going to clarify that in a second, but somebody feels like they're at a loss, but this is supposed to happen. We got the tree of life here. Somebody's losing here, and I don't think that it's you. But you might be taking on the thought process that you've lost something here, so that's why you're having to rad radically accept that, you know what, I didn't. He, they didn't choose me. It happens in life sometimes. We all can't be winners. But it's you're not letting it diminish you is what I'm getting. All right, show me death. Why is death here? We have the two of wands. Yeah, somebody chose the path to end this. And you might not have been expecting that. Queen of swords in reverse. It wasn't a smart choice that they made. Show me the eight of cups is what I'm getting here. It's like they're losing out on something major. Somebody's going to have some regret about this, is what I'm seeing here. Show me this Eight of Cups. We have the freaking Justice card coming out. Somebody walked away because they felt like it was only fair to do this. They felt like it was karmic justice to do this. Again, here we go with these people trying to serve up karma themselves. You motherfuckers are not the judge, jury, and executioner. You're not God. You're not source. You're not spirit. You don't serve karma. You, you're, that's not your life goal or mission here is to give somebody else karma or decide who gets karma. That's not your job. We got the emperor in reverse here. Yeah, somebody tried to control the situation, but they're going to realize here shortly that they're not in control of anything because they didn't win. What you thought was a win is actually the biggest fucking loss. Could be dealing with a Leo here. <clears throat> or a Scorpio. Or somebody with those in their chart. All right, so we have six of cups here. Yeah, somebody walked away from a soulmate. Dumbass. Three of Swords. Uh, usually, I would think that the Three of Swords in reverse was uh, the process of healing, but it's coming across to me in this particular spread with this Justice card here. It's like somebody tried to hurt you like they feel you hurt them. 
is what I'm getting by walking away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was some type of strong connection here with the Strength card and the Six of Cups. Show me the Five of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Cups with the Five of Swords. Somebody's in their fucking feelings and they're trying to win at all costs. I definitely feel like somebody's trying to do that tip for tat shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you. That's so immature. Then we got the Hierophant here. Aquarius, what I'm getting here is that you're being guided to take this as a loss and to just move forward. It, it, even though it's hurting you, you're still putting on a brave face. But I feel like this is somebody doing this intentionally. And they think that they're winning, but five of swords, six of wands in reverse, you're only hurting yourself. Not only are you hurting Aquarius, or you think you're hurting Aquarius. No, it's hurting because gotta let it burn uh it's hurting but or you're doing this to somebody aquarius but if this is happening to you they're trying to hurt you and it's really just hurting themselves because they know that this is a soulmate connection they know there's very strong love here they know they find you attractive and you're everything a man could want <laughs> or a woman could want whatever the case may be ten of swords yeah there's somebody tried to stab the fuck out of you and five of cups. By letting this go and not holding on, ending it, they they wanted to hurt you, but you came out still looking like the queen of wands. Still in your fierce energy, still in your warrior pose, whatever. You still, I, like, I get, like I said, you're still putting on a brave face. You're still putting on a good face, like you're not phased. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Somebody wanted to see you hurt. And we got two of swords. Whatever wasn't clear before is definitely clear now. Whatever was stopping or whatever you were in two minds about, you understand now. You know now. The tower in reverse. I don't know what... We're going to clarify some more. Yeah, somebody tried to cause a tower on you, but it ended up only fucking them up. Fucking themselves up. This is crazy as fuck. I feel like, uh, Aquarius, you already knew that somebody was going to try to do this. Or you know what they're trying to do. But at this point, they're carrying it on for so long that you're just accepting it. Like, whatever. If this is how you want it, this is how it's going to be. I have no problem playing this game with you. All right, let's look at this death card with the two of wands. Why did somebody choose to end this? We got the sun. Oh my God, innocence. Again, I'm getting like you chose the wrong fucking path. Compromise. Yeah, they were trying to give back to what they were, they were trying to give you what you gave them. But whatever you have, whatever happened between you two, if you did do something to this person, I don't think it was out of malicious intent. Is what I'm getting. Show me the justice card. Of course, we have the lovers and the fucking King of Swords coming out. This is somebody in that lower King of Swords energy here. Somebody who's trying to control the situation. Um, they're using their mind over their heart right now because they know you guys are supposed to be man This motherfucker is getting on my nerves Definitely picking up Gemini energy here Show me the six of cups with the strength card <clears throat> Somebody could also have another person that they left you to be with. And they, and they wanted you to know. But this person is the one who's actually hurting. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, y'all are supposed to have some type of long-lasting, long-term uh, soul contract in this life or something like that. 
or you guys have had many lifetimes together is also what I'm seeing here. Show me the five of swords, ace of cups. We have the star. This person knows you their wish fulfillment. I'm also getting here, Aquarius, that you wanted to try to heal this, this connection at all costs. Maybe you recognize what this connection was. We got the hermit at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling like maybe this person wasn't being cooperative. This person could just be in their feelings hurt and they're trying to do anything to make the situation better, but they're just making it worse. They're just hurting themselves is what I'm seeing here. Show me this. Yeah. You've accepted that. Okay. This, this is, you want to put the fork in it and kill it. Then that's what we're going to do. Yeah. But they're just playing. <laughs> we got playfulness at the bottom. This is a game to them. They're like, they know you're going to take them back. They know y'all are going to be back together or that's what they think. Show me this two of swords, ace of swords. What is these swords? The devil. Yeah, the truth is that you know what they're doing. You know that they're playing games. You know that they're in their feelings and they're hurt. We have the fool at the bottom of the deck and they're going to come running back. So what was meant for you not to see, you have perfect clear, clarity over it. Somebody could be a savant here is the word that I'm getting. And also somebody could be a, a diviner. You go in between realms, uh, something like that. You know how to access the spiritual realm. So you already seen. But we got the sun, the lovers, the ten of pentacles, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, and the star here. So this is a very strong connection. <clears throat> but whatever this person was trying to do is coming back on their ass. They might even see you moving on with somebody else and they gonna, whew, they ain't gonna know how to handle that. I swear, I must be psychic. I, I must be. <laughs> and they landed right on the six of cups strength card over here. This is your soulmate. Y'all have spent many lifetimes together. Oh, there's a lot of passion here. This person's just up in their feelings. But the way that you've accepted it or the, the way that you carried yourself with whatever they were trying to put on you probably got this person in a tower moment right now. So the tower they were trying to cause you ended up backfiring on their ass. All right, let's see. When people need to quit being petty. But we do have the tree of life here. So this person has to see this. This person has to see this through. This has to happen in order for them possibly to radically accept that you are their soulmate here. And that no nobody else is going to do. I'm saving all my love. Yes, I'm saving all my love. Yes, I'm saving all my love. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Not the right time. Yeah, somebody going through something. They need they need a they need a minute. Meditation brings answer. Aquarius, I already feel like you've been doing this with straddling worlds. You've been trying look at those. Wow, that purple coming through that. Indigo. You've already received wise counsel, is what I'm getting here from your higher self. You know. That's why the ace of swords was the first card to come out. You already know that this person is doing this because they're in some type of pain, agony, hurt. There's something that they need to heal from in order to heal this love. But because they feel so hurt or burdened or whatever the fuck happened between you and them, this painful ending or whatever, they wanted to try to make you hurt too. Hurt people hurt people. And no, it's not right. It's not okay. But shit, we are human. Well, we are souls here having a human experience. And with a human experience comes imperfection. All right. Let's see where this is heading in the next near future. <laughs> Since it's not the right time or something wasn't the right time. With the trajectory of the energies as they are now, let's see what's happening in the near future. Minus your free will because you guys could choose 
to continue to behave this way or there could be reconciliation that anything could happen here you can move forward with somebody else i don't know prosperity lies ahead so there there is new moon in taurus i feel like somebody who's being stubborn right now is about to come to their fucking senses and realize oh shit oh shit what have i done this person is the air that I breathe. Communication is key. So yeah, expect new moon in Gemini. Didn't I tell y'all I was feeling that Gemini energy? <laughs> Go look at Gemini's reading. That could also play a role into what's happening here because you could be dealing with somebody who has Gemini highly aspected in their chart. <clears throat> or you could have Gemini highly aspected in your chart, but that gives probably like a little, I can see how these two stories could be connected here. Because this death card and somebody walking away here and the lovers, they could have walked and went towards somebody else in the Gemini's reading, which I just completed. So I do still remember it. They're looking at the situation that they're in, wanting to go back to their ex because the person that they chose was garbage. <laughs> so let's just go look at that reading, you guys. Make sure you're hitting that like button if you are vibing with this uh, program. If you're vibing with my program, hit the like button. Comment down below if this story resonates with you. I'd love to know if it's connecting. Also, subscribe. It's free to you, and it helps the channel grow, helps get more messages out there to those who need to hear it. I am eternally grateful for you guys, and I will see you on the next one.